Hi, this is Michael Thompson from Zoe, and I want to welcome you to the Wednesday Morning Rescue. This is our weekly audio encouragement offered through Zoe's daily orientation. What you are about to listen to is an excerpt from the Men's Heart of a Warrior Conference or the Zoe Women's Deepening Weekend Retreat. It is our hope that your heart finds strength, beauty, and courage for the life God has called you to live in the larger story. It was C.S. Lewis who once wrote, Relying on God has to begin all over again every day, as if nothing had yet been done. It is our prayer that this devotional brings an orientation to your heart, settling you and equipping you to play your part well in the great love story set in the midst of the fierce battle. Today, may you experience the love of God, learning how to walk with Him and live free. We were created in love by the eternal God who is love himself, and you are the object of his affection, his beloved daughter. God names you beloved. I'm using this, however you say it, beloved or beloved, I'm not sure. When I went on Webster's Dictionary online and had them pronounce it for me, they pronounced it beloved, but I'm used to saying beloved, so we're just going to go with whatever comes out. But God names you beloved. In the original Greek, it means favorite, esteemed, dear, worthy of love. It means one greatly loved, dear to the heart. It means admired, adored, cherished, darling. Beloved means dear one, dearest, precious, prized, respected, revered. These are good words. And God name, calls you beloved. To be beloved is also to be seen and known. I've heard it said that you are loved to the degree that you are known. Beloved means you. It's who you are to your God. And who you are to him is everything. It's like what Michael wrote about in Heart of a Warrior. It's what we learn from eBay. What, what has it taught us about the value of something? It's what someone is willing to pay for it, right? And beloved, you were ransomed. You were ransomed by your God. He gave his life for you. That is ultimate belovedness. God invites you to believe it, and he wants you to know who you are. But you know what? I can hear and be told all day long that I'm loved. I can have the theology on point. I can memorize every verse that tells me I'm loved. I can chant that to myself and remind myself of that all day. But until I experience, I don't chant. I don't know why I said chant. That's not in my notes. <laughs> Scratch that from the, from the record. But until we experience belovedness, and until we know at our core, till we experience that, we're not going to really, really fully believe it or be able to believe it. Experience has taught us otherwise, hasn't it? It can be difficult to trust. It can be difficult to believe the truth. This is really true. This is true of me. But Robin, you don't know my story. You don't know what's happened to me. I'm beloved, that I'm worthy of love. Oh, but my reality suggests otherwise. It screams otherwise. We have been so hurt, so rejected, abandoned, unloved, wounded on so many levels. And Dana's going to share more about this with us tomorrow. We need to experience belovedness. It's the cry of our hearts. One of the ways that I know it is such, it is, resonates with so much of us and it's such a longing of our hearts, there's a, um, a website and a strong social media presence called So Worth Loving. I don't know if any of you her, have heard of it. I follow them on Instagram. Um, they, had seven, they have on Instagram 37,000 followers, and that has increased by 13,000 just in the past few months. Um, their tagline is, you are worth it. On the good days and the bad, you are so worth loving. No matter your past mistakes, relationship status, or career choice, you are worthy of love. 
Girls and women are getting tattoos, SWL, so worth loving, on their arms. There, there is a crying out for this. I've seriously considered getting beloved tattooed on my arm, but I can't quite commit. So <laughs> I'm sticking with my beloved engraved necklace until, until I can take the plunge. <laughs> but if we could live loved our worlds would change. If we could live from a place of belovedness where our hearts are settled there, it would radically alter our perspective on everything. One last quote. Um, In his book, The Cure, John Lynch says, learning to love perfectly or trust perfectly is not the point. The point is learning to receive love. Love completely satisfies our longings, ambitions, and potential. God, the ultimate fulfiller, invites us to trust him. He goes on to describe the stunning power of love. And this is what Jesus came for us to realize. Thank you for listening to this week's Wednesday Morning Rescue, a part of Zoe's Daily Orientation. To sign up for the Daily Orientation, explore more information on Zoe's weekend retreats, or to order the book, The Heart of a Warrior, go to our website, at www.zoeh.org. That's www.zoweh.org.